hello everyone in this video we are going to understand which process is better for you which process is better for our work if we are planning to buy a laptop then which processor we should buy what is our budget according to our budget which processor will be better for our work here uh, in market we have basically two main processor running which is intel core and amd ryzen processor so if uh, in this video we are going to understand difference between the intel core i3 12th generation processor and amd ryzen 5 55u processor both processors are very powerful and also these are available in your budget so let's understand first of all what is processor actually processor intel core i generation and amd ryzen both are mobile processor designed for the laptop but they cater to slightly different performance whenever you require it which processor is better for you it depends on several factors like what are the architecture of processor and what are the cores of processor how many cores are there what are the clock speeds of processor what is the power efficiency of processor what is multi threading and productivity of processor integrated graphics performance in everyday task and also about the price of laptop right so let's understand what by one first of all we have to check architecture and cores of processor it's very important it depends on the architecture and cores of processor defines the speed of your computer the capability of your laptop in intel core i3 processor it has hybrid architecture with six core and uh, out of six core two performance cores are available and four efficiency cores are available performance means it will provide the performance wherever it requires and efficiency core is also useful for little slight software the software which is very heavy like uh, Photoshop or graphic software or movie editing software or gaming software if those softwares are being used then performance score uh, performance score processor will be useful and in the background if some programs are running then efficiency cores will be uh, looking after them uh, Intel Core i3 has eight uh, thread threads which is more than sufficient for running multiple tasks hybrid structure of Intel provides a balance between the performance and the power efficiency with a focus on the managing task based on the complexity it means as per the software you are going to use according to that it will be using the cores it's not required like that key all the cores are being used at the same time no as per the requirement of your software those cores will be utilized and according to that only the power efficiency will be used the same way is done in amd ryzen 5 processor it also has six cores and 12 threads this is notable point it has 12 threads within six cores Based on Zen 2 architecture, it offers a strong multi-threading performance, specifically for the productivity and multitasking tasks. So we can say AMD Ryzen 5 is better than Intel Core i3 because it has 12 threads. The multitasking performance will be very good in this processor. Next is clock speed. If you are going to check the clock speed of Intel, it's just 1.2 GHz performance score and 0.9 GHz efficiency score, which is very much good which is capability of this processor is very good the same time the same time if your system is running normally then the base clock is 1.2 gigahertz but whenever it will require then, ma then maximum turbo it can be 4.4 gigahertz gigahertz in performance and 3.3 gigahertz in efficiency it can reach up to 3.3 the same thing we can see in the amd ryzen but it is more than intel i3 base clock is 2.1 and maximum turbo can go up to 4 gigahertz okay so this also we can understand clock speed is very important for the performance and speed of your software utilization just like uh, if you're using gaming software then this clock speed will be very helpful in that now if we check out the performance efficiency in, uh, through processor it's um, very important because uh, this processor uh, will increase the life of your battery of laptop if we talk about intel core i3 then it takes 15 watt and can boost slightly higher in certain cases with efficient core design to optimize battery life on light tasks. The same with the AMD Ryzen is manufactured on the 7 nm process, potentially offering better power efficiency compared to i3 processor, right? Because it is manufactured on 10 nm process, so i3 will consume little more uh, power, but AMD Ryzen will consume less power in comparison of i3. It means the battery life will be increased more in AMD Ryzen processor. Next we have uh, integrated graphics. In Intel Core integrated ultra graph, uh, in Intel processor integrated USD graphics with low gaming performance available. But in AMD Ryzen 
uses Radeon Vega Sun graphics offering significantly better integrated GPU performance making it better for light gaming and graphic intensive tasks like video editing, photoshop editing, photo editing, right? Like video editing and photo editing tasks. Next we have multi-threading and productivity. Multi-threading means multiple tasks can run at the same time. You can uh, watch YouTube videos, you can watch HD videos along with the software of graphics you're using along with the video editor. Means multiple tasks you can perform uh, multiple tasks you can perform at the same time without any glitch. An Intel i3 processor, it uses hybrid architecture, works well for the multitasking with efficient course handling, very lightweight tasks and performance course handling demanding tasks. However, with the only 8 threads, it may not match the multi-threaded performance of the Ryzen 5 in high parallel workload like content creation or heavy multitasking. But the, with AMD Ryzen 5, with 6 cores and 12 threads, it excels in multi-threaded workload and it's better choice for multitasking content creations, for example, photo, video editing and other heavy productivity applications. It means overall we can understand. AMD Ryzen is better if you are using multiple applications, multiple softwares and very heavy software at the same time. You will be enjoying in AMD Ryzen. If we check about the performance in everyday life, then again uh, Intel i3 is ok for everyday tasks like web browsing, office applications and casual use but not designed for very heavy workloads or gaming. But AMD Ryzen offers better performance than Intel i processor, i3 processor. Uh, whereas AMD Ryzen offers better, form of, uh, better performance, whereas AMD processor, AMD Ryzen, sorry, whereas AMD Ryzen offers better performance in demanding tasks including light gaming, video rendering, and multitasking, thanks to its higher core count and better integrated graphics. It has 12 core, uh, six cores and 12 threads, right? Six cores and 12 thread is very much sufficient for multitasking and heavy duty. The now conclusion comes here, if you are prioritizing multitasking, light gaming and better integrated graphics then AMD Ryzen 5 is better choice for you and if you focus on general everyday computing, good battery life and budget friendly option then the Intel Core i3 12 generation is also suitable for you but it may struggle with the more demanding tasks in comparison with Ryzen. And for more productivity, gaming and creative tasks, Ryzen 5 is the superior choice for you while Intel Core i3 is better for casual users who value efficiency and light workload. Simply I will say if you are a teacher and if you are not working in any special editing software or gaming software or any specific application you are not using then you can go for i3 processor, 12th generation i3 processor. But if you are a if you're an engineer or if you're a graphics designer, if you're a video editor or YouTube content creator and if you complete tasks depending on the different types of application then please go for the AMD Ryzen 5 right it will be means you will be enjoying using that laptop with Ryzen processor thanks for watching the video kindly subscribe if you like it thank you thank you so much